now that we have examined React briefly in the previous two lectures, I'm sure you are curious about getting started with React, getting your hands dirty with starting out on a React application. So in this exercise, we will look at how we will get started with React. I'm sure by now your computer is already configured with Node and you have access to NPM, the package manager that comes with Node. Just like NPM, Yarn is yet another package manager that is very useful, especially in the React world. In this course, I am going to use Yarn for installing and downloading all my Node modules for my React application. If you choose to instead stay with NPM, that is perfectly fine. You can use NPM to accomplish exactly the same thing. And so whenever I use Yarn, I will also remind you about how you can use NPM to do exactly the same set of commands that I do with Yarn. So if you choose to use Yarn, it is uh, important to get started first installing Yarn on your computer. So where do we get hold of Yarn? If you choose to use Yarn instead of NPM for your React application, then I would suggest you go to this site called yarnpackage.com and then uh, you have instructions there on how to install Yarn on your computer. So going to the Getting Started page, you will see the installation instructions right there for your specific uh, operating system. And so please follow along the instructions if you choose to use Yarn instead of using NPM. If you choose to use NPM, that is perfectly fine. Uh, uh, as I said, I will tell you both approaches as we go along in the exercises of this course. But I find that Yarn is much better suited when I am working with React applications, so that's why I choose to use Yarn. So go ahead and install Yarn on your computer as uh, specified in the installation instructions here. If you go to the React uh, site and then look up the documentation and especially in the installation you would notice that there is a link to say add react to a new app and when you click on that the approach that is suggested by react is to use this create react app which they say is the best way of starting out building a new react single page application in this course, that is indeed the approach that I am going to take in order to make use of React within uh, uh, this particular course. To get started, open a terminal uh, window or a command window on your computer and at the prompt type npm install minus g create react app at 1.5.2. As we go through this course, I will specify the exact versions of the various NPM packages that you have, I will use in this course. This is to ensure that when you go through this course, you will install the exact same versions of the NPM packages that I use in my course so that your journey through this course will be painless. If you are doing this installation on a um, Mac or a Linux machine, don't forget to put sudo in front of the npm install because we are installing this as a global package here. And wait for the installation to be completed. So once this is completed, as you can see, I am using create react app version 1.5.2 in this course. After you install Create React App, you may need to restart your terminal or your command window in order for the uh, Create React App command to be ma made available at your prompt. So once you get restarted with your terminal or your command window, at the prompt type Create React App minus minus help, and that will print out a set of uh, uh, instructions on how we can use the Create React app to create a React application. So once we understand this, then we will get started creating our first React application. So to create our first React application, 
let me go to a convenient location on my computer. So I will go into my documents, um, Coursera folder. And in this folder, I will create a new subfolder named React. So um, let me create a, a new subfolder named React. Again, if you are using a Windows machine, you can appropriately create the React subfolder and then move into the React subfolder. And as you notice, this is empty at this moment. To scaffold out your very first React application, at the prompt type create react app and then the name of your application as confusion it'll become more clearer to you why i name this application as confusion as you go through the rest of this course and wait for the create react app to create your react application it'll take some time for this to complete its work once it is completed doing its work, you will notice that there will be a subfolder in there named confusion. So move into this subfolder and then to get started on your React application, you can just type yarn start or if you are using npm, you just type npm start and your React application will start up and be served using the built-in server um, that is part of the Create React App uh, ecosystem. And once your React application is compiled, then it will become available at this uh, address. So go to a um, browser and type this address into the address bar, and then you will be able to view your React application. Going to my browser, I have typed in that address into my uh, address bar and then you see the resulting React application here. We will examine the details of this React application uh, in the next lecture. If you are uh, going to initialize a Git repository for your React application, which I would strongly suggest you do, so then go to the confusion folder in another terminal tab or another command window and at the prompt type git in it to initialize the git repository and then uh, we can do a git status to look at the status of our uh, folder and then do a git add dot uh, space dot to add all the files from the git repository into my um, git staging area and then Again, if I do git status, you see all the files that have been checked into the staging area of my git. git. And then let's do a git commit. So at the prompt type git commit minus m initial setup. So this is the starting point for our React application. And so then when you say git status, you would see that uh, the your commit has been um, saved into the git repository and then you can do git log and note that your very first commit has been put into the git repository there thereafter you can synchronize this git repository with an online git repository either on github or on bitbucket make sure that your git repository is a private repository with this we complete this very first exercise where we have used Create React App to scaffold out our very first React application. We will examine what has been scaffolded out in the mm -hmm. next lecture, and thereafter, we will start working on further developing our React application.